had to do from there to get it going. Yeah. We didn't have any shortage of officers or committee members or anything. Was, yeah, well, you know, there was always somebody there to take it on. Yeah. Uh, and it just went on from there. Yeah. And the uh, committees used to meet, I think it was once a fortnight, maybe once a month. He was counting. Hmm. Uh, but we used to go around at each member's house in turn because rationing was still on. And just so it, nobody was short of rations, you know, you'd uh, eke it out and like on the house one night and somebody else is the next time and yeah. somebody else is yeah, share it around. Yeah. And speaking of rations, how did you get on for fuel in those days? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> no, no, we, we got fuel. You're not going to get in trouble now. We're not going not to tell the... <laughs> English police. No, I don't want to get a bad reputation. No, it's people. a bit of history that we don't want to disappear. So, uh, you what? know what? I'd say it's a bit of history that we don't want to disappear. So, uh, perhaps you know, just explain some of the ingenuity that went along with uh, with getting fuel that um, well, possibly otherwise would have been wasted. You were just recycling, weren't you? Recycling, yeah. 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 Well, we used to manage to get hold of some, or some of us. Managed to get hold of some really old fuel that had been in petrol tanks for ages and uh, mix it with a bit of fresh fuel and it was all right. But my brother-in-law, Con, he got some real old stuff and uh, he was out one day and the bike packed in and uh, my dad being a motor mechanic soon had it off and, and it was full of light glue and it was this old petrol that had turned to a, like a shellac and gummed up the mm. bloody carburetor yeah. <laughs> and the valves and whatnot. So that was a lesson to stay away from old fuel. Old fuel. And don't fuel like an, an old, old fuel. fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, excellent. And what um, what was the first event or ride or the, that whatever of that nature that they had? A um, I can't remember what the first one was, but we had Jim Carners. We had well, you know what Jim Carners like. We had quite a few of those. First one was in a place called Daisy Meadow in Egham, and we made up there all our own bits. We were getting the enthusiasts from from America <laughs> and making up bits and pieces from photos we saw. You know, the oh, enthusiasts. Is. Sorry, that was a ma the the Harley no. Club magazine from America. Uh, or Harley, you talking about people. No, the enthusiasts is a Harley. Magazine, Harley Factory Magazine. Mate, yeah. 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 And we uh, made up our own things for the Jim Carner. One of the favourites was a 44 gallon drum, and you had to get it from A to B by pushing it with the front wheel. Mm. And boy, you try that, that's comical, that is. Yeah, yeah, I bet. You go off this way or that way. And another thing was uh, the sack race. Everybody would take off one boot or shoe, put it in the sack. They take it up the end, the thing, all right, to get lined up. Okay, start. So you'll get down there, and the first one to get his shoe and, shoe and get back was the winner. Oh. Of course, as soon as he got the first thing he did was throw other people's shoes away. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite funny. So you rode your bike with only one shoe on? With one shoe on, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Can you yeah. imagine that these days? No, no. <laughs> this was on grass. Oh, of course. Yeah. And, uh, Mm. Things like that. Um, there's one or two photos of a thing. And, uh, yeah. Then we had, um, like I say, we had, we had a reciprocal arrangement with um, the Vincent Owners Club. We had a couple of rides with them, and they used to enjoy taking the Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing's nothing changes nothing over changed, the years. No. no. They were good blokes. Yeah. And the London Douglas MCC was the same, we used to go to their meetings and some would come to ours. Because a lot of blokes were members of two clubs, yeah. already members of their local club. And because it was a Harley sort of social club, they joined the Harley club too. Uh, and it just went on and on. Yeah. We had uh, the Cheddar Gorge night run, where you used to go down, ride down all night, well not all night, Ride down to Cheddar in Somerset, ride through the canyon at the midnight. You imagine the 
the pack of Harleys going through the Cheddar, Cheddar Gorge, the noise. But Fred Moore's dad had a little lost in van. He used to drive down there and pull in one of the areas and with soup and tea and, yeah. and all that, and that was quite good. And you'd stay there for half an hour or whatever and then off again and on the way back. And, uh, so well, those uh, days, obviously, it was still a big family, family clubs of Fred Ward's Oh, yeah, well, a lot, of, family, yeah, a, lot a lot of them were family. Of, yeah. There was a lot of youngsters and two people of, well, one woman, she's a widow now, but uh, we still write to them. What about some of the early characters, some of the early club members and that? Can you tell us about a few of those? And Oh, yeah, well, of course, we had our share of idiots as well. Yeah. One in particular, he, uh, he used to get done for speeding quite often. Because in those days, once you were out of the speed limit, you could go as fast as you like. And he used to like to do it in the speed limit. Yeah. And he got taken to court and whatnot and fined and everything, got his licence taken away from him. So, so he was the one that started the bad reputation? <laughs> <laughs> no, never had a bad reputation. No, of course not. Not my club, no. <laughs> not the club. Yeah. Anyway, he, um, he came out, probably got on his bike and took off oh. and they were waiting for him. Oh. They knew he was going to do it because he was that type of bloke. Yeah. So we had a share of them, one or two. And uh, there was Ron Prayer, an old bloke with one eye. He used to ride in the M MCCs. I thought most Harley owners were one-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to carry on? <laughs> Please do. And uh, he used to ride in the MCCs trials with his missus. He used to wear a, a fur, uh, what do you call them? Not a scarf, but stole, fur stole. See her sitting up in the side car with his first stole on while they're climbing over all the dirt. Oh. <laughs> it's good fun, but yeah. The... And you had a couple of um, police officers in the yeah. <clears throat> we had an American came over and he came over on an XA. That's a flat twin BMW copy that the American Army wanted. They they made a thousand. Uh, but never made any for civilian use. They flogged them off. Anyway, this, well, I think his name was Bill Hill, and I'm not sure. He came over and brought his bike with him, did all the formalities at Southampton, got as far as Staines, and I don't know whether you know it, but that runs up from, on the road from Portsmouth to London. He got stopped by a cop on a speed twin. We thought, oh, what have I done now? My first day in the country, I'm on a strange route. I've broken some law or other. And it turned out the cop was one of our own members, mm. Alex Smith. He rode a speed train by day and a Harley by night. And he explained to him, and it just so happened it was club night that night. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I passed the pub on the way home. I never went in. No. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I said, well, look, a couple of hours before the club starts, would you like to come home for tea? So he said, yeah, I'd love to. So I took him home. Phil was making uh, some sort of stew or other. Uh, he let that out. He thought, this is good, first day here, getting treated like this. Went to the club at night and joined. And uh, he was around for a while, but I didn't see him all the time, you know. And uh, another American was, um, what was his name? Chuck? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Chuck. <laughs> anyway, he was in the uh, Seabees, the, the Navy Seabees Construction Battalion, you know. Was that for rebuilding or something, was it? Or? Oh, don't ask me. No. Something like that. And I think they're supposed to go in and get airfields ready and whatnot for the Navy. And uh, Anyway, he was, uh, God, what's his name? It's a real Yorkshire name. For an American? For an American, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he lived in Cross, Plain, Cross Plains, Texas. Anyway, we had, 
a Canadian, Gary Davy, who was father was an Indian chief, Canadian Indian chief. We had Poles, a couple of Poles who joined, a couple of Spaniards, there was Carlos Gil.